Now to other stories. The federal government has offered fresh appointments to 390 out of more than 2,000 persons disengaged from the Obafemi Awolowo University Teaching Hospital Complex, Ileife, in December 2023. Senior reporter Rafi Hamid has more. For the past one year, Obafemi Awolowo University Teaching Hospital, Ileife, has faced a lot of challenges. One of the challenges was a series of protests embarked upon by over 2,000 persons who were granted letters of employment into various cadres in the hospital in 2022 without necessary procedures and were therefore told to go home. At this engagement held in the hospital, Professor John Okini said the affected persons have been fully employed in compliance with necessary regulations. They were not interviewed. They did not apply. They were not shortlisted. There was no vacancy. So is that civil service application? Officially, the story is 254. Some people still came thereafter and said they had letters. Some even came to the suitability test. The woman came with two different letters into two different KEDA. Those things are on record. They are on record. And it was supposed to be 450. At the end of the day, 350, 3, 390 were successful. Cases of sexual harassment have been noticed in the hospital, and the CMD said a sexual harassment policy has been put in place to check perpetrators. Others will be exposed subsequently. There will be a wall of shame on the internet if you do that with another person's wife. It will be there for your friends, for your children, for your spouse, for the internet to see it forever. If you do that again, and if you feel you cannot control your libido despite the threat of the law, because that's not a threat, it's just the law, then prosecution will follow. So apart from that, it is going to be multi-pronged. I told you I'm going to remove all beds from sites. I mean, don't tempt, lead us not into temptation. He seeks support of staff to move the hospital forward. Professor John O'Kelly said the hospital is coping with a shortage of medical personnel arising from Jackpa syndrome, which he said is not peculiar to the hospital alone. According to him, over 30 million naira have been retrieved from those that left the hospital without following necessary procedures. Rafael Hamid, TVC News, Ilaife, Washington State.